Hey guys, what's up? Arvin here now today. In this video, I am going to share with you the super light version of Windows 11 that I am using right now and it is called Ghost Spectre. If you're interested, watch this video. I'm going to share with you the uh, the lightest or the uh, like I mentioned in my intro, the lightest or the most or the stripped down version of Windows 11 that I have tested or have tried in my computer. When I was looking for, um, I actually was looking for a uh, a version or a Windows version that I can install in my MacBook Air Mid 2012 with a measly 1.7 gigahertz of CPU, it's dual core with 4 gigs of RAM. And uh, although Windows 11, the minimum requirement is 4 gigs of RAM, but once you installed all the applications that you require, it will eat up all the 4 gigs of RAM very easily. Especially when you install, when you run Google Chrome and then along with, let's say, Microsoft Office Suite. Now, let me show you, uh, the, and this, let me show you my desktop. And this is Ghost Spectre. Okay, now um, this is not the uh, this is not the uh, what do you call this? This is not the default setup, or this is not the default view, or the, the when you after when you install Ghost Inspector, or Ghost Inspector. Sorry, not Inspector. So this is not the default view, but actually this is the default wallpaper. Um, this is not the default setup, uh, I should say, because I've already installed most of the applications that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And by the way, this is my computer. This is my setup. Um, let me just uh, show to you the um, my system settings or my, my computer setup. Okay, so... I am running, this is Windows 11 Pro, actually. Uh, this is already Windows 11 Pro. And I am running, I'm running this in my desktop uh, that runs Intel Xeon, um, Intel Xeon 26, E5 2620 with the 2 gigahertz of RAM. I have 16 gigs of memory. And uh, that's about it. And to give you more details about the uh, CPU that I am using, uh, it's a Sandy Bridge it, it consumes a maximum of 95 watts. So this is a very uh, power-consuming um, processor, as, as I may say. And the, my main board, actually, the motherboard that I'm using, it's uh, the motherboard that I'm using is the uh, the uh, the Yunnan Z X79 ZD3 that I have reviewed here also in my channel. And um, okay, going back to going back to this desktop. Okay, the memory I have a. Uh, this is supposed to be quad channel. I believe one of my RAM is not working properly. It's supposed to be twenty gigs of RAM, but it's running on triple channel as of this time. Okay, and it's um, uh, this is a DDR3 ECC. Actually, this is an ECC RAM. Okay, and uh, this is where I run my um, my my uh, the ghost specter as of this time okay now what is best well that's what's best about this uh, this uh what do you call this windows operating system and considering this is the latest version of windows 11 in my knowledge is windows 11 and um just imagine i am already um running obs and as you can see it's running in the background obs and it consumes 18 point um, or roughly around 19 percent of my cpu and then all the applications that i've already installed so they also consume minimum amount of ram a uh, memory and cpu okay so the memory is for 14 percent now considering this if i am not running obs usually um you will only see at least one to two percent of cpu and roughly around one gig of one gig of ram and as you can see this time i'm running obs so i am consuming around two two to three gigs of ram from 16 gigabytes of 
the memory that I have inside my computer. And the CPU, it is consuming 22, 20 to 23 gigs of, uh, uh, gigahertz of processing power. This is the reason why I like to try um, the, C the, process or the operating system with all the applications installed because if let's say if I am planning to install this in my MacBook Air mid 2012 that only has two gigs uh, four gigs of RAM and 1.7 gigahertz of uh, CPU this dual core I would be able to use it without any problem it may slow down a bit as you can see on the screen um, Right now, this is an idle, honestly. I'm just running, uh, I'm just running OBS, and it's already consuming 1.94. And just imagine the um, the CPU of a uh, mid 2012 is 1.7, so I may be consuming. Um, it may run a little bit faster or higher. Gig it will consume a little bit uh, higher gigahertz, or will demand more from the CPU of MacBook Air because it only has 1.7 gigahertz. And the CPU that I have is multiple, uh, has multiple core. Okay, one moment. Let me just show it to you. So it has nine, three, six, nine, twelve um, cores. So it is utilizing most of the uh, 12 threads that I have uh, here in uh, my computer. Now, if you're using a dual core, it will require more power from your uh, from your computer okay now what's the difference of uh, what's the difference of the, between the uh, vanilla windows 11 and this because this one honestly when i tried using this and install all the applications so i already have installed microsoft office suite so my uh, let me open up microsoft word okay and i've already installed different um all, most of the uh fonts that I'm using, let's say the quick brown font. The lazy dog, okay. And then let me just change the font to 50. And then let's um, open up all the, uh, try and see, these are all the fonts that I have, that I installed that I use on a day. So I, this is not included actually. Some of the fonts here that you will see is not included by default in Windows considering this is a super light um, operating system. And I also have Audacity, the GIMP, I use GIMP, and uh, CapCut, uh, the video video editing software that I use. Okay. And um, now just in case, let's say, uh, let, me op let me open up GIMP. And then let me open up Audacity. Okay, so let's open OK. Let me keep open. I believe not. Okay, so it's working. So right now, I've opened how many applications already. So, so I have GIMP, I have Audacity, and uh, I have Microsoft Word. And let's open up. Um, Google Chrome, and now the uh, application uh, the, the, it, it is consuming around three giga three gigahertz of RAM. So let me open up YouTube and open YouTube, and let's open up let's say uh, any video. Let's open up my video. Why not? Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Lower the volume here. This video. Go to videos. So, it's nice in to wake my up to the unique video, I installed Mac OS Sequoia. When they come together, so, a good morning. Um, this one even is. <gasps> is that fine? Thanks. Oh, and acne marks too. Try this. Olay Retinol Max. It absorbs deep into your skin, renewing Ooh, it while you this. sleep to reduce uh, fine lines and acne marks in just seven nights. See it for yourself. Okay, I'm sorry. Olay. Unfortunately, I cannot skip this. Hey guys, what's okay. up? Arvin here. So just so imagine cool. I am running this in my computer in in a four gigs of RAM. So it's still uh, I can run multiple application 
in a 4 gigs of RAM, but considering you need to consider the CPU of MacBook, uh, of the MacBook or an old device that you would you're planning to run this on. Okay, and um, and as you can see, it is running. Uh, let me uh, open up another uh, other applications that I have here. Uh, one more. Let's open up more tabs. Why not open up a different? Um, and let's play another video. Let's say 4K video, Ultra HD. And click on it. So, and as you can see, the CPU and the memory is um, only consuming. 34 uh, 30 to 40 percent uh huh okay so let me just try 1080s okay so as you can see the uh ram goes up a bit and the cpu goes up a bit okay so now while everything is running there is okay uh, honestly this is not, this one's not running it's just open okay so let's say the memory is already going up there is an option when you right click on the desktop of Ghost Spectre. There is this ghost mode. Okay, you will be given an option to power to use power saver, balance, high performance, game turbo. Okay, game turbo. Because my understanding, Ghost Spectre, um, this Ghost Spectre was designed to strip down all the necessary all the unnecessary items or the necessary files that uh, applications that you need uh, that you don't use in your computer when you're trying to run a game in your computer okay so correct me if i'm wrong but this is how i understand it this chip they remove everything there's no notepad there's no calculator there's no ms paint so it's just a bare bone um operating system so right now i'm also i have been running this for a couple of days and I'm trying to run this. I use this uh, Windows 11 or Ghost Spectre as, as my daily driver. And so far, I have no problem using this operating system as my daily driver um, running this on my desktop. Okay. So, um, let's go back here. So, as you can see in our, uh, in our task manager, I uh, the... Uh, the system is already running um, under um, using 4 gigs of RAM and 33 percent to 40 percent of cpu and they have this option as you can see it says here reduce memory so let's click on it and watch the uh, memory go down and as you can see yep it is going down to 80 percent while the uh while this is running and, and imagine this is google chrome okay so now it is consuming 19 percent of the memory i have no idea how they do it i have um i have everything here open so let me just close it and close i don't need to save it so okay so it's just running three percent uh 19 percent so let me just open up ghost um ghost mode again so reduce memory god mode god mode is it is uh, i remember during my during my um uh what do you call this my when i was playing with operate um, distro hopping with linux i came across with a short script that you can uh you can create and it will open up it's a god all the uh all the all the adjustment that you can do in your windows operating system and they call it the god mode so you have all the necessary adjustments that you can uh, do here okay so that's this is called god mode and what else okay uh huh so and by the way um when you install actually um on my next video i will show you how to download create a usb bootable device and install it in your computer okay just to give you uh, to give you a heads up this operating system is not activated so you may need to um, get your own uh, windows key 
so that you can have it activated. Although you, you, it is usable, there's no need for you to have it activated for, in order for you to use it. But there are some features that I would like to change in my computer. And um, so I need to have it activated. Okay. So right now, as you can see, it is um, still running uh, very smoothly in my system. And let me just, uh, once I close everything and then click on reduce memory, it will automatically bring down the memory usage down to see almost how many percent 13 percent also along with cpu it will go down as well eventually or gradually okay so there you have it um if you let's say if you have any questions or anything that you would like me to try and uh install here i did not install any games here in my computer because i don't Play games if I install Steam I will just be playing but uh, let's say tank or the tank and that's it I don't play um, I don't play any any games or any games here in my computer I, I have I have a this Anvernic that I when I got this I seldom use it so maybe I will let my daughter use it and uh, see what she thought about this because right now what she has in uh, in her computer is Windows 10, which is also a stripped down Windows 10. But this time, this is Windows 11, and this is Ghost Inspector. Okay, so if you think that there are things that you would like me to try, in, 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 and you would like to know more about Ghost Inspector, you can go to their website. I will leave a link in the description box. And like I mentioned, like I mentioned earlier, on my next video, I will. Uh, I will show you where where to download, how to download, and uh, how to create a USB bootable device. Uh, Ghost inspect, uh, Ghost Inspector. Okay, so there you have it. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Okay, see you all in the next one.